Hi there guys, it is me Mr. Fossil, and I am back with another video. Today I would like to share with you something very special that I have been working on for the past few years and I've never told you about it. It is the launch of a website that I have been working on since last year, and the release of a world building project that I have been working on for the past few years. It is known as Linneos, a symphony of two dimensions in three-dimensional space. Today, I would like to go over a brief overview of my website, you know, its pages, and what the world building project is about and where you can find it. So without further ado, let's take a dive into Linneos. So first off, I want to show you where you can find it on my channel, Mr. Fossil. So I did make a community post about it about a day ago. Here it is. I decided to release the website early. It's still in development. So you can find the link of the website here when you click on my channel. And when you click the little arrow, you, you can see the about. And also below, here's the links. And... That is where you'll find the link. So it's called Linneos World Building Project, and it's the link is linneos.wordpress.com. Yes, I used WordPress as a um, platform for making the website. So now that we got that out of the way, let me give you a brief tour of the website itself. So right now we're in hosting view. Um, this is where I go to edit the website and, and add content. So, we are currently on the home page. Okay, this is where, like, content such as articles and blogs will pop up. So this is my first post. I'm not going to go into much of what it's about. You can read it on your own time. So at the bottom of every page is a footer. And the footer basically gives you links to the various different pages that I have on my website, like the Terms of Service, the About section, and the galleries with my artwork. And of course, here's the logo of the site. Here's my logo. And the logo also appears at the top of the website, too. So as you can tell, there are four different menus. You have the home page, the artwork, the about, and the posts. But before we get into that stuff, I just want to give a brief of what Linneos is. Linneos is a world building project. And it basically takes place on an, another world or in another realm completely different than our own. Linneos is somewhat like our world in the sense that it's in three dimensions. However, its life forms are in two dimensions. This means that the plants, the animals, and even the people who live there are two-dimensional. That is why it is called Linneos, a symphony of two dimensions in three-dimensional space. And that is what Linneos is, a three-dimensional world with two-dimensional life. It's a very interesting concept that I've been working on since high school. So, we're now going to check out the Artwork tab, which has f four pages. Land animals, sea life, maps, diagrams, and charts, and characters. So let's click on the land animals. And basically, um, here are some of the art pieces I have made for the land creatures of Linneos. There's still many to be made, but I'm going to show you some of them that I have so far. Here's one, the Pagosaurus. Here's another, the Psychrosaurus. The Nyxokethrosaurus. Varina Tractus and the Valisineros. 
Again, these are just some of the animals that are in the world. Not all of them. I'm still creating creatures. Also, whenever new artwork is posted, you know, you should check this tab and the pages to see if anything new pops up. So, sea life. So these are the creatures that live in the waters of Linnaeus, the oceans, rivers, and lakes. So let's look at some of these. The Protractocetus. The Hesper Ellipticus. The Logirhynchus. And the Digicollis. But again, these are just some of them, and there will be more to be posted in the future. Again, if anything comes up, you know, check these tabs, because the artwork will not be featured on the homepage, as of right now. Next, we have the maps, diagrams, and charts. These are um, a series of, like, you know, the maps of the world, and will consist of diagrams, maybe like, you know, anatomy of creatures and characters and whatever the like I may post here. So... This map here, this is the map of Linnaeus from a bird's eye view. Like here are the two continents. Here's a very massive ocean. An inland sea which carves the continents into two. And a large ring of mountains encasing the world itself. These are the continents up close, but instead you see they have various different countries. We also have uh, uh, plenty of little islands scattered throughout the seaway as well. And this picture here is if you cut the world in half. So basically um, you get to see not just the continents and mountains and oceans, but you can see what's like under the ocean, like you have these little pillars here holding up the continents on the seafloor. You also get to see the various different layers of the atmosphere. I'm not going to get too much into that. I'm going to write about that in a future article. But those are your maps, diagrams, and charts. Next, we have characters. So in the world of Linnaeus, there are two races. There are the Parallelians and the Giants, both of which are related to one another. So here's a sketch of them. So here we have the Parallelians down here. Let me just scroll here. Just get a few. And we have the Giants. The Parallelians are divided up into a hive society, and the Giants aren't. They're two completely different creatures, but they're related to each other. So here are the classes of Parallelian. For brief, you have the Drone, the Guard, the Librarian, the Dismantler, the Scavenger, the Bristle, or the Cleaner, and the Sprayer. So let's just give you a brief overview of some of the characters we have here. We have Axis, we'll talk about him later. We have an array of Parallelians, Saltera, Tessias, Cacus, Durandal, Celadon, Mach, Dia, and Funi. We also have Pliny, Herophilus, Rovigi, Grambert, Anciel, and Kessel. Now let me show you some of the giants. So we have Oberon the Great. He's the oldest person in the world of Linnaeus. We have Seth. And we have Thyrsus, the drunk, and Antaeus, the fighter. But yeah, these are some of the characters that you will meet in this world. There are many more to come. 
So now let's go on to the About section. So we have Welcome to Linnaeus. This basically just gives an overview of what I just said earlier of what Linnaeus is and what it's about, but it goes in more detail. Just goes into more detail what I said earlier. So I'll skip over this. Over here is my biography. This basically gives an overview of who I am, you know, what I'm about. So next we have the rules and regulations. Basically these are the rules that visitors have to follow when on my website. So up here we have the rules. Down here we have some encouragements for you guys. These are optional, but I highly recommend them because it's important to promoting my project. Next we have our mascot. So the mascot of this project and this world is Axis, the Parallelian Drone, who is a shaman. He is the first ever character that I ever made for this world building project. So down here we have some character lore and also the history of Axis as a character. And now we have the posts tab. So this is where I store and sort out my articles and blog posts. Um, whenever I post something, I'll put it on here. As you see, there's already a post. Posts, however, will automatically appear on my homepage. As you see, the first one I wrote is on, on my homepage. But, um, yeah. This is my website in full. Like I said, I am still developing this website. I'm still working on it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys can share this with your friends and spread the word around about this project. You know it really would mean a lot to me because I've been working on this for years and I really would like other people to check it out. Like you know whenever I make a post you know check here if there's any artwork posted you know go here. Um, but please share this with your family and friends. Um, it's really, it would really mean a lot to me. Like it really mean a lot to me. But again, you know, you can find it through Mr. Fossil. Here's the link. You'll also have the link in the description of this video. It will be in the description below. And I'm also planning on making a YouTube channel um, for Linnaeus, specifically for this project, but that is still up in the air. I'm not really sure about that. But if you're interested in that, please stay tuned for that. I'll let you guys know about that in the future. But, um, yeah, guys, um, thank you for watching. Um, and I hope you enjoyed what I had to tell you guys today. And I hope to see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more content on Linnaeus. Have a nice day and stay safe and well. Bye everyone and welcome to Linnaeus.